Hi everyone, it's Nelda. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking this video. Hope you're all doing well. Happy Sunday and today is the last installment for hashtag Bright and Prosperous 2021 collaboration. Time flies and we are now on video number four. So that means that hashtag Bright and Prosperous 2021 is really ending. Once again, this collaboration is hosted by Sarah of Rayro Crafts, Aisha of Young's Paper Creations, and myself, Nelda from Nelda Scraps. And there are nine more really talented and beautiful collaborators that are ready to share their projects with you. And before I show you what I have for you today, I'd like to thank all of you for supporting Bright and Prosperous 2021 collaboration for taking the time to comment on our videos of course thank you for watching our videos and to all the collaborators i have so much respect and appreciation for all of you thank you so much for being part of this really great collaboration and so my project this week is all about accessories and these are key fobs this is my first time doing this and i am pleased with myself and look at all these key fobs that i created these are not leather these are vinyl that I dyed and I am very happy with how they turned out. I added this key charm that I will have in my shop very soon and I showed this uh, charm already in one of my videos. I think that was video number two. But the key fob is something that I really enjoy doing. I have this template that I made. I used a rubber mat and then I went over my fabric and I found this vinyl that i used in previous projects and so these are left over and i used this vinyl before as journal covers and then sometimes i use this as fine or inside pocket for my journals and then so that's what i used for these key fobs and i just traced this template and then i used sharp scissors to cut the material and once it's done this is how it looks like and the two pieces i glued together so that it is thicker and then i just punched the holes and this is the other one different shape and you can see that the first shape came from the second one i could already leave it this way and just add the key rings but i wanted to change its look a little bit so i decided to dye it but first let me show you the glue that i use to put them together and this is the leather craft glue that i've had forever i used this glue in previous projects and this is the first time that i used it again after a long time and to change the color of the vinyl, I used this leather dye. And I purchased this from Tandy Leather. I believe that was like a year and a half ago when I wanted to try leather crafting. I also used this uh, dubber. And what I did was to uh, dip the dubber and then just apply the dye on the vinyl using a um, circular motion. And when it dried, I did the back as well. And then I added the split rings. I have two sizes here and just insert the smaller ring onto this part and the other ring on the other end. And then to lock and secure, I use the rivets. And once you have the rivets in place, then you just use your hammer and give it a smack. And that's it. And it's all secure. And so this is the final product. And I think it's beautiful. I like the color better than the original color because this uh, dyed one looks more like a leather key fob. But what do you think, guys? And then I also have the other colors. So this one I painted with red dye. And I also like it because the color is so much richer. And look at that. It really looks like the leather. I have one more here. Actually, I have more than one. I could not help myself, so I did <laughs> quite a few. And then. 
more and each key fob is different from the other even though I use the same dye. They just have different texture and I also use the black dye and so this is the result. So this is just putting black dye on the vinyl and just doing it once. So it has also a different look altogether but I also love it. And as you can see, I really enjoyed making this. So I have quite a few here already. There's another one. So these are the key fobs using the vinyl material. But when I bought the leather dye from Tandy Leather, uh, I guess a year and a half ago, I wanted to really try on uh, embarking on leather crafting. And I also purchased some kits, but I didn't really use them because I got scared. At that time, it felt like it was too big of a project. But I have this kit that I purchased that I didn't really use. And this is a credit card holder with money clip. And after making this key fob, I decided I would give this one a try now. And so that's what I did. So when I got the kit, this has already the leather and the accessories. But the leather looks like this. So this is a uh, veg leather. And I use my embossing folder. So this is the mandala embossing folder that I use for paper craft. And look how gorgeous it looks on leather. And I dyed the material with red. And so this is where you put your money and this is for the credit card. And I just love the way it looks. Every detail is just gorgeous, I think. And I use the brown cord. And this is also the cord that I used for binding my journals. And it still has some beeswax on it. But I love the mandala design. I think this is really gorgeous. So to stitch the edges, I use the saddle stitch and basically you need two needles for this type of stitching and you just put one needle through the hole and then the second needle goes through the same hole and you just pull it and repeat the process. And again, it is so much easier to do when you're not recording and when you have a pony, but I don't. So it takes a little longer, but it's not that hard. And you just have to do a consistent motion. So one needle through the hole and this next needle goes through the same hole and pull the thread and that is it. So then I did the stitching all to the edge and back. And it is actually a lot of fun because it is kind of uh, relaxing. So once it is done, this is how it looks like. And so this is where you put your credit card. And for example, this is the money. I don't have cash right now. So let's pretend this is cash. And that's how you clip your cash. And so this is the credit card holder with money clip. And this is leather. And it is so much fun to make. I will have a complete tutorial on this on a separate video. And then I also have this leather key fob. I didn't really attempt to make this until now, but it came with the accessories already. But the leather looks like this. So very raw. And I used my embossing folder to uh, give it some texture. And so this is how it looks like. So I dyed it using black dye and I just love it. I love the texture and the color and I am very pleased with this key fob. So there you go. So now I have 
the bigger key fob and then the smaller ones and I just had so much fun and after making all these projects I realized leather crafting is really one area that I want to explore more I just love the simple projects that you can make out of a remnant or like an old leather piece and so these are my projects for you today and I really hope that you like them let me know what you think and also I hope that we inspired you to explore and develop your crafty side start sharing your projects to also inspire others and most importantly always have fun have fun creating have fun trying new things so that's all i have for you today thank you again so much now that the hashtag bright and prosperous 2021 collaboration has ended the next one is the Feel of Vintage 2021 collaboration, which starts in two weeks and it will also run for eight weeks every other Sunday. And I hope that you also support this collaboration. Please also watch the videos of the other collaborators. I have them listed in my description. If you are new to my channel, please be part of my YouTube family and hit that subscribe button. Also, I invite you to join my birthday challenge giveaway. It is still open until March 15, 2021. I have received many cards already that I have not recorded yet, but I will do that. It's just that I had a migraine, and when I get migraines, it usually lasts two or three days. So I apologize for not uploading my videos featuring the really, really gorgeous, lovely, beautiful handmade cards and the store-bought cards that you sent me but I got them so thank you so much I am behind on many things I am also still making and finishing the entry for some challenge giveaways but I am positive that I will get there I also have some outgoing mails for Ayesha for Sandy for Joanne and for Tammy so please bear with me I also believe that our friend Ayesha of Young's Paper Creations is going to celebrate her birthday soon. I just cannot remember the exact date, but Ayesha, happy birthday. And thank you so much for co-hosting this collaboration with me. And thank you, Sarah, for also co-hosting this. I love you guys. Again, thanks all for your support. Stay safe. Bye now. God bless you. Till next time. Mm -hmm.